Man, I just got back from the, the movie It Chapter 2. Not impressed. So my brother visited the other weekend and we made a video about what ended up just being kind of like a mini interview about streetwear startups and kind of where I plan to take it. Um, and I'll put a link for that in the description so you guys can check it out if you are big fans of the show. But anyway, the main takeaway from it was just I'd like to break the series up into seasons with like maybe capping it off at like 10 episodes. So. I do 10 episodes, take like a little break. I know there's a pretty decent break between videos already. It's like two weeks between each one. But anyway, it'd be like 10 episodes, do a little break, and then start a new season with like new intro and all that fun stuff. Um, but yeah, I go into more detail in the interview. So if you guys do want to watch that, you know, link in the description. I don't even know why I'm talking about that though. Like we're only on episode five, like we're only halfway done with the season. So I don't know. Uh, this brand doesn't really have a theme, so uh, yeah, we're back to the old intro. For my theme song, Black. This week's brand is Patricia Ray, which actually kind of sounds like a cooking brand or something along those lines. Who's that cooking lady? Like Rachel Ray or something? I don't know. Anyway, Patricia Ray is an American actress famous for her roles in movies such as Swim Fan and Maria Full of Grace. Neither of which I've heard of, so I don't know how famous you can actually say she is. Or, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, oh, oh really? Alright. <clears throat> so the brand is actually not named after the American, famous, famous American actress Patricia Ray. It's actually named after the owner's late grandmother. The brand was officially launched on October 11th of 2017, which can be found if you look at their first post on Instagram, or if you wanna go all the way back through uh, the owner's tweets, you can find where he actually does the original announcement for the brand. So I haven't actually been able to find the owner's name, but they go by the handle Moth Tracy, and judging from their tweets and pictures, they appear to be in their like late 20s to early 30s, which, isn't really important. What is important is that they've had two years of experience in streetwear and clothing before actually starting the brand Patricia Ray. Although I wasn't able to find out what that experience actually was. Also, I believe the brand is based in Houston, Texas, and I say that because that is where Moth Tracy claims to be located. That also actually kind of fits in with the brand's overall like aesthetic, I feel. It kind of has this like Southern charm vibe to it, especially with the name Patricia Ray. So the owner, Tracy, is actually in a band, but I couldn't find a link to music or snippets or anything like that, just photos of them performing. That being said, it looks like Tracy does vocals and also plays the guitar. What are they doing? Like, what, what are they? First, I was trying to record and the garbage truck came super loud and now. Anyway, <clears throat> it's interesting to note that the owner is a musician because they have so many musicians or like rappers, especially, uh, that rock the brand. Some notable examples are Lil Xan and Young Gravy. And then they also appear in the Bexy Fat Nick Stay Alive music video. Tracy also retweets a lot of stuff from musicians like Lil Aaron's projects and like I saw Black Bear tour date. So he appears to have like strong ties to the music industry, which could very well be how he is able to get the brand in the hands of all these rappers. So one name I was actually able to find was Tracy's longtime girlfriend, Erica Alessandra, who helps out with the brand and can often be seen modeling a lot of the pieces. Like just go on their Instagram, she's all over it. Speaking of which, let's go check out their website. All right, so here we are at the Patricia Ray home screen, and I believe they display the current season, or I'm not sure if that's how they want to call it. Um, but yeah, the most recent products anyway, and then, or the current collection, I suppose. And then down here you have previous collections. And it's kind of interesting because they mark, like this is marked as sold out, but there are also other pieces they've sold that they just don't even show so maybe that's just because the other colorways are out of stock but yeah not a whole lot to this website you have the search ability up here you can click patricia ray it just brings you back here um the shopping cart your cart's empty you got a couple links here but there's really no like about or info or shipping or anything 
um, this is just you know you get what you get right here you subscribe to a newsletter so what I want to do here is just you know show off the products let you guys see it and get an idea of what the brand is about which actually the brand is kind of all over the place <laughs> Um, this is their most recent item that they dropped. It says, War is not healthy for children and other living things. And it's kind of like an old, um, almost like an old video game. Kind of reminds me of something you'd see in like some, uh, some Game Boy SD game or something uh, along those lines in like a cutscene or something. I don't know. But over here on the right, you have a logo that they use quite a bit. And you'll see this on some more pieces that we look at. Personally, I'm not a big fan of the one on the left. I kind of like how they did the text where it's kind of just, you know, falling all over the place, but not a fan of the graphic. However, the one on the right, I, I do like that. I like the light pink color that they used and not crazy about that graphic, but I think in the context of this shirt it looks all right but there are some other pieces that you'll see later that i just don't feel too crazy about um here's another one of their newer pieces i just want to love you it says um and patricia <laughs> patricia ray on the bottom if you couldn't read the the messy logo but yeah i think the more interesting pieces are in their previous collections I'm not a huge fan of the current collection but here we have the soccer jersey and i pointed out young gravy was wearing this in one of his photos and it's also important to point out that the jersey the football club jersey is only 74 dollars which i think is a really good deal for a jersey of this sort as far as colorways go i really like both of these colorways uh it's interesting like the take on both of them like the one on the right is more subtle because they used the red blends into yellow and then the other stripe is also that same yellow in contrast over here they just have the purple blend into an orange so here they have a more expensive secondary hoodie and this is probably just because it's cut and sewn a lot of these pieces where they do this color blocking will generally be more expensive just because of the process uh, that goes into making something like this also another important thing to point out is it's this like crew neck over the hood as you can see right there um you see kith doing this a lot but it's kind of like an interesting take on a uh, on a hoodie design but yeah, since we clicked on it, we have these more details. 100% pre-shrunk cotton, 100% cotton natural drawstrings, rib neck collar, flat ox stitching detail, embroidered brand logo, baggy fit. Ah, so it's embroidered. Nice, nice. I like that A little TM also. <laughs> we have a bag right here. Kind of interesting. Um, some beanies, just some normal beanies. The electric chrome hoodie. So I actually wasn't too into this design. Um... I don't know if it's the drawstrings or what that just throws it off for me. Maybe if they're a different color, maybe just black. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It just, uh, it just looks a little weird for me, I think. Here's some just random like t-shirt designs, kind of like we saw with the original collection. Got a hard hat on the left and then this uh, electric peach. Kind of looks like they were going for an electric themed capsule right here. You got the hard hat. And electric peach electric green but yeah, here's kind of some of their more interesting stuff where they do the industrial straps a little more experimental and you basically just have all these different straps with the patricia ray branding and you'll see this taping done later on some more hoodies probably like right below this yeah so here's a sweater and 82 dollars. i don't think that's too expensive for what you're getting how like customized it is um and actually the one on the left is the one lil xan was wearing in the picture i threw up earlier Moving on, the one on the right and also the ones below, you have the same kind of taping or straps as they call it. And I do like this, um, but I think I prefer the strapped sweater over all the hoodies, but still a, still a cool concept and design. So here are some sweatpants. They say they're strapped sweatpants, but I think they're just striped. And then to finish it off, you just got some basic embroidered t-shirts with a little... Uh, like maybe cut and sew in action there you can see there's a uh, a split so yeah now we're at their instagram you guys can see here's kind of how they uh tease the products they've been doing this type stuff um showing off young gravy wearing it but i just really wanted to show off a couple different pieces and i think they're a little further down um you can see there are some pieces that didn't really show up earlier here's another interesting design and i do like turtlenecks or mock necks sometimes i call them i think that's if it goes like a little bit lower than a turtleneck but i just can't really get down with the graphic i do like the embroidery on the neck i think that's a cool touch but i don't know i'm just not a huge fan of that like emo or gothic graphic so yeah here's the one that i really wanted to show off i think this is really cool you know you just have the one sleeve that kind of has the design going on and then everything else is plain 
And then if we move over one, we also get in a yellow colorway, adds a little bit more craziness to it. And it kind of gives this like caution vibe. You know, you got the checkered stuff like a crash test dummy or something with the yellow. Um, but yeah, I, I really like this design. I think it's cool when people just do like the one eccentric sleeve rather than doing both of them. That's I had a shirt back in the day that had just like one black sleeve and I think the rest was white. So um, I like I like that. I think that's a cool detail or a cool approach to making a piece. But with that being said, that concludes the deep dive on the website and Instagram. So honestly, there's not a whole lot to be said about this brand in terms of criticism. Every move that the brand has made seems to be very well planned and thought out and carried out very carefully. Maybe Tracy's experience that I mentioned earlier came from some form of like managing background because it, like I said, it does seem to be handled very well. I guess the only bad thing that I can say against them really comes from their color block hoodies, which strongly represent the Teddy Fresh hoodies, um, which actually came before these color blocked hoodies. But that being said, you know, color blocking is a style, so it's hard to draw too much of a connection there. Um, it's just kind of a style that somebody had already done. I'll also mention that I was on the fence about the taping items, or actually I think they call them the strapped pieces. Um, but actually once I saw somebody wearing it, I'm, I'm on board. And those jerseys too, those jerseys look good. All around they're just a good brand. Their website is clean and simple. I guess it could use a little bit more information, like an about section would be nice, maybe a section about shipping for the users. Um, but yeah, their designs are also very clean. Um, although I do not personally like every single one of them, I feel like they have many that I am interested in. So, <laughs> so yeah, that's it. That's all I got for the brand, guys. Um, but yeah, if you did enjoy the video, <clears throat> let me tell you about one of our many feedback options. Can I interest you in a like or possibly a constructive comment? Let me tell you about today's special. We have the share button and the subscribe button. <laughs> but no, in all seriousness, this is the end of the video.